Chronic periodontitis is a destructive gum disease which affects the tissues that support the teeth. It has been linked with an increased risk of heart attack, stroke and certain cancers. In a healthy mouth, dental plaque contains predominantly commensal or beneficial bacteria, depicted here in blue, that are in homeostasis with the host. However, in people susceptible to periodontal disease, through poor oral hygiene or other health conditions, a change can occur in the composition of the dental plaque, which allows certain disease-associated bacteria or pathogens to establish themselves in the tissues surrounding the teeth. The bacterium Porphyromonas gingivalis, shown here in red, is key to the disease process. It subverts or dysregulates the host's immune system, causing the host's immune system to become self-destructive. This subversion allows the emergence of other accessory pathogens in the plaque, shown here in black. These pathogens have similar characteristics to Porphyromonas gingivalis, but need Porphyromonas gingivalis to become established. Once established, they reinforce Porphyromonas gingivalis and the imbalance with the host, resulting in a state of dysbiosis. This causes chronic inflammation. The deeper the tissue destruction extends and the deeper the pocket becomes around the tooth, the more difficult it is for the bacteria to be removed. Without professional dental intervention, the destruction of the tooth's supporting tissues can be substantial, including the bone. A new vaccine being developed at the University of Melbourne with commercial partner CSL targets the virulence molecules of Porphyromonas gingivalis and the accessory pathogens. The vaccine triggers a switch in the immune response from destruction to protection and induces the production of specific antibodies. These antibodies block or neutralize the key virulence molecules of Porphyromonas gingivalis and the accessory pathogens in effect nullifying their ability to cause disease. This neutralization allows the commensal bacteria in the plaque to outcompete the disease-associated bacteria. A state of homeostasis is returned, inflammation reduces, and the tissue destruction ceases with a reduction in the depth of the periodontal pocket by soft tissue reattachment to the tooth.